What's up, you guys? Sean Miss Prime here doing another SH Figure Arts figure review on the Iron Man 2 War Machine. Gotta give a big thanks to Jerry Nightmare. He is a YouTube action figure reviewer for Japanese imports. Check him out. Link to his channel is in the description below, man. And this figure is truly badass. If you're trying to pick this guy up, he runs about 70 bucks. He's not cheap, man, but he is available at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So this guy is not cheap, but he comes with a ton of accessories. Very, very cool figure. Very, very well done. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Fantastic head sculpt of this guy. Very, very cool. I love how the plastic came out. It's got this kind of a shimmery kind of look in the plastic. Little micro glittery thingies in there. Love how you can see these little red arrows on the top of his head. The eyes came out really nice. I love the yellow painted inside and it's got a red trim for the eye sockets. That is very, very cool. He comes with these removable rocket launchers that are really badass, that are articulated. They move up and down and you can just pop it out like so. And then you could fill it back in with this little piece right here that goes right in there. And he actually comes with two of the rocket launchers so you could pop this one out and you could put one on the other side. So if you'd like, you could put one over here too. Or if you want, you could also put the XY over here that's pretty badass it has this little hinge down here which is cool and this is articulated as well it moves up and down arc reactor looks very very cool love how the torso came out see the number right there it's the mark 001 some air force decals on the arm right there ed445 flts right there he has some nice decals on this side as well looking very cool very nice. His gauntlets came out very, very awesome. This is really, really cool. You can actually remove his little machine guns right here that he has on the side. So you could just clip this open like so. Then you could remove that. Even though I don't really know why you'd want to do so, but you can if you want to. It comes with these flame effects that are very, very cool. It comes with a ton of flame effects, but these right here are dope. He comes with two of these, so one for each side. And I really like this coloring right here. It's like a darker orange, and then it lightens up to yellow when you get to the end, and it has white at the bottom over here. Very nice. I love the attention to detail with the variations of gray and silver on the figure, like these little parts over here. Looks very, very dope. And then he has interchangeable hands as well. So right here you can see he has a fisted hand and this has a hinge right here. So you can move that up and down. Even though I prefer posing it without this at all. So you can remove that if you want to, which is pretty cool. And you can pop the hands right off. Pretty dope looking hands. I like how they have the silver right there. He comes with these flat hands over here. One for each hand. Pretty dope. He also comes with a set of these open palm hands. So he has a total of three pairs of hands. Taking a look at the rest of the figure, the thighs, all the sculpting throughout the whole figure just came out really, really dope. The sculpting at the bottom of his feet looks pretty cool cool and I like that you can attach these effects over here so that he's launching very very nice these look dope very similar to what we saw in the mark 6 Iron Man from SH figure arts these look very very cool right here He does have die cast at the bottom of his feet which is very very cool nice sculpting over here now he also has these accessories for his flaps at the bottom over here so you can actually move this up and down which is nice and you can see the jetpack thing over there and you can remove this over here and you can replace it with one of these guys over here which you know really isn't incredibly helpful I don't know they didn't really need to do this but eh, it's kinda neat and he does come with these little jet effects that you could plug into the bottom right there so that's actually pretty cool I like that and these came out really nice looking again the orange fading into the yellow and the white at the bottom here's the back of the legs going to the war machine butt and then he also has these flaps that open up over here on his back too, which is very cool. I like this a lot, actually. This is pretty dope. You can open these up over here, which is pretty badass. The only problem I have with it is that I would like to plug these jet thingies into the back of these, but it doesn't really work. It's like if you're lucky, you could stay for a little while, but it's not really meant to hold them. So I got that one in there, but it just doesn't really look right. And here's his machine gun turret with his bullets attached over here. This is a very soft, pliable material. I like that a lot. It just plugs into the back over here, and you can plug it into this machine gun, which looks really, really dope. I like this a lot. Very, very cool looking machine gun, and it's very articulated as well. And of course, it does come with a blast effect. So you can plug this guy in right over there. That looks sick. That's very, very dope. Again, white, orange to yellow. So not only do you get a ton of accessories with this guy, he is loaded with articulation, which is really, really great. I love the articulation of this guy, even though I do have a couple of minor gripes. Uh, for instance, the head articulation. I feel like his head could look up a little bit more. It's not bad. He has a neck joint as well. But with the neck and head joints, you know, and it's not like the machine gun is actually hindering any articulation over here. I feel like he could look up a little bit more in the head joint. It does move side to side, but you can't get him to move 
move all the way to the side because these collar parts over here are kind of blocking the articulation. He does look down very, very far though, so that is very cool. His machine gun turret is very poseable as well. It's just on this one peg that you plug into the middle on the back right over here, but you can move it side to side so it has a joint over there. It has a separate hinge that allows you to move it up and down like so. So you could rotate it all the way around this side. And then it has another hinge right over here that allows it to move up and down over here. And it has this last joint over here that allows it to move side to side. So it's very easy to have it either on this side or you can just spin it around and then put it on this side. Very, very cool. Or you can have it going like over his head like that, which is pretty nice as well. I dig it. His shoulder pads are articulated, so you can move these up and down. He has this awesome shoulder armpit joint that moves in and out like so. He also has a ball jointed shoulder, so you can move it outward. You can move it forward. He has a bicep swivel over here, double jointed elbows. And then you can move this elbow piece up and down a little bit too, which is pretty cool. And then his wrists are on these ball joints, so you can move them up and down and swivel them around, which is nice. He has a very cool ab joint over here or a diaphragm joint you could pivot side to side you can have him crunch forward you can have him crunch backward very very far and he actually has a separate piece over here if you can see I'm lifting this little piece up and that really helps with articulation because the guy has so much armor but it's not really blocked or hindered by this little piece over here which I think is great so a lot of articulation over here he does not have a waist joint but you don't really need it it looks badass the way it is now he does have very cool leg joints he has these double hinged leg joints that We've seen a lot on the Japanese imports that move up and down, so you could do that. And it's also on a ball joint, so you can move outward, and you can move it forward. Upper thigh swivel over here, and it's sculpted all the way in there. I really like that. He has double jointed knees that look pretty badass. And his ankles move down a little bit. They move up just a little bit. He does have an ankle pivot, which works very well. And I do like that the material right here is pretty pliable. So it doesn't restrict any of the ankle articulation, and he does have toe joints, and he has these little flaps right here that move up so that you can move the toes up, and it doesn't hinder any articulation on the toes, which is great. One little problem is these things on the back over here, they do pop off fairly easy, and it is a bit annoying. I really think this figure needs a flight stand. I am bummed out that he did not come with one, so for the time being, I use the Mafex flight stands. The height of the figure isn't too bad, even though I wish he was a little bit taller. He stands just over six inches tall. And here he is compared to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man and here he is compared to the Hasbro Iron Man 2 War Machine and the Marvel Legends Toy Biz comic series War Machine and you can see he is definitely the shortest one out of the three of them so you know I wish he was just a little bit taller if he was at least the size of this War Machine over here I would have been completely sold on him even though he's not that much shorter but still a very badass figure he is a little pricey but you get what you pay for with these things he's just got so many accessories I mean look at all these flame effects man he's got tons of flame effects you'll see in the pictures next and i just think it's a great figure big thanks again jerry nightmare for letting me borrow his figure to review i hope you guys like it and i will catch you later peace Shameless plug over here. I started my own podcast. It's called the Shark Cast. Link in the description below for that. It's kind of like a Fat Man on Batman kind of thing where it's just me and one other person I'm interviewing for about an hour or so. And my very first guest is Dave Vonner right over here. Yeah, that's the face of Dave Vonner. He headed the Marvel Universe line and he used to work for Toy Biz Marvel Legends. That's his face on the Toy Biz War Machine. So please check that out. And also Toy Talk Live today uh, featuring Pixel Dan. So links to all that stuff below.